previously on Survivor Florida. After the shocking blind side of Emily, who was Evan's closest ally, Devonch seemed to be back on the chopping block. However, when all hope seemed lost, he managed to do the impossible. Win immunity, securing himself a spot in the final four. Deciding they couldn't go any farther with Loose Cannon Amon, the remaining Makano Alliance of Karo, Evan, and Jasmine chose to cut their losses and vote him out. For our left, who will be voted out tonight? And who will be crowned this season's sole survivor? But I know it's gonna be me, him. It's gonna be me, Devonch, going against Evan. I know Karo's gonna uh, vote Devonch. I just, the thing is, I don't know what's gonna happen if there's a tie. Because if there's a tie, it's gonna be either Evan or Devonch. And obviously, we already voted that. So I might need one of the crew members to tell me what would happen if there is a tie. I could make a really big move line right now and try and get Evan and tell Devonch Evan. Or if anything, they could. I don't fucking know what's gonna happen. I'm just trying to wrap my head around if I want to make a big move or not or just stay true because I know I have a deep feeling down inside that if I'm final three with Cardo, um, Evan, 
and, and uh, myself that they're gonna vote Evan to win. And I really want that $100, so I could right now potentially just get Evan out. All right, final four. Welcome to your very last tribal council, very last person being voted out to join the jury. Jasmine, you pulled off the last win. You're guaranteed in the spot in the final three. Normally the person who wins uh, the final four challenge has a very large say in who they sit next to. So how, how are you feeling about that? Um, I am feeling good. Um, I definitely didn't think that I was going to win that challenge. I'm being dead ass. Um, I'm happy that I did. Um, we'll see what the jury thinks. I, I'm i clueless on as to what they think, how they're feeling, because a jury can either want vengeance or a jury is just going to look at the strate strategically game, or they're just, it, it's, that's all that matters at this point. We're going to, I just, crazy how things happen. Evan and Caro, you guys kind of teamed up during that challenge, we're kind of helping each other out, using each other as motivation. Why, what prompted you guys to do that? I mean, I think it's no secret that like it was kind of 3v1 in that challenge. Ramanch is undoubtedly the biggest threat left in the game. He is the most friends on the jury. He's played the most dynamic and hard fought game out here. And I think we were all under the impression that as long as one of us wins, then this will be a rather simple vote tonight. Hopefully nothing's changed. Devonch, that, that must hurt hearing that. And I could tell you were getting a little upset the challenge when it kind of felt like even though it was an individual challenge, they still somehow were trying to get to you. So. Were you trying to scramble after the challenge to, you know, make a case that I I'm not the biggest threat in this game. This is why you should, you should, Jasmine. This is why I should sit next to you, or you know, what I was mean, going on? Of, of, of course I did. I mean, I think Sean has done a, or not Sean, Evan. I don't know why. Damn. I, it's it's been a long day. I'm tired. That challenge took a lot out. I know it's okay. <laughs> uh, I think Evan has played the the best game. He he's had a really good pulse on the strategic and the social and I, um, and he made I think the biggest move was saving me voting out his closest ally to have really have no one to else to say that he has that game he's the only one who can own this game I think if the two girls want a chance to win they will vote Evan out now is that gonna happen no they want to stay Mikado strong so uh, we'll see we'll see what happens but it is not looking good for me given the challenge Caro there seems to be a lot of talk of the guys on either side of you having the best game. Do you think that, you know, you had a better game than them? Do you think that you should be in the discussion more? Because right now it seems like you have a good shot at making it to the final three. So what's going on in your head thinking, how am I going to plead my case if, if, if the Shazman decides to keep me? I mean, no, no. I don't think it's honestly, like, I don't think I deserve to be, like, oh, like, she has such a good game, she has the best game, because honestly, everyone's game is different and everyone's methods are going to work out for them based on luck and based on their skills and based on a lot of other things. So I honestly think that people's opinions of whose games were the best are truly their opinions and their own. And I think everyone sitting here and everyone even up there has played amazing games with amazing strategies. So I take zero offense and um, I think everyone plays a great game. So that's my take. Alright, well, you guys have been very impressive, have fought very, very hard challenge after challenge. It's time to wind it down, it's time to get to final tribal council. If anyone has anything to say, now would be the time to do so. If not... No hard feelings, guys. Evan, you're up. What's up, guys? Great game, you know. I don't know if Jas Jasmine still looks like she might, but she whispered something to me right before I came here, but looking like it's me, but. Um, you know, I have tried 
to make moves with the girls and try to have, keep an open dialogue and make it, but Evan's got you guys wrapped around your fingers, so props to him. He did a really good job. Um, congrats. All right, well, it's no idol, so I'll get to the votes. First vote, Devonch, the beast. with people who don't want to play the game um, but I, I did everything I could I have no regrets I lasted a lot longer than I thought it was um, and I learned a lot about myself through the process so it was it was a good season good I, I'm proud of myself I feel like I'm playing a winning game but my definition of a winning game you know it's just one of those things that it's like I win if I make it far doing what I know is right what I feel is right I played the most out there and lively game while also always being in the know, always being in the majority, always knowing exactly who I need to vote out to propel myself, not just one step further, but to get to the end of the game. Showing that I've always stayed true to my word with my alliances. I know half of them, like I didn't even talk to, but I stayed true to my alliances the whole time. I've always, I've gone with my word. I know half of them probably don't think that's a smart thing to do, but it's just how I am. If they don't like how I play the game, they don't like how I play it. All right, I'm on it, guys. Ooh. I just want to say thank you. I know you guys didn't really put my name down anytime, which is kind of weird, but I know the first thing's probably in your head is why did I not put Devonch? Um, the reason why I didn't put, put Devonch is A, I've always stayed true to my alliance, and I hope you guys can respect that. B, there wasn't a 100% chance that everything would go home. If you end up losing, then it was just really nothing. I think I'd rather just stay true to my alliance. Um, second of all, I just want to say that I feel like I want to put some things out there just in your head. Um, old Kano tribe, if I wasn't there for this puzzle, also with Emily, and if I did not come up with the strategy for the letter game, half of you wouldn't be here right now. We would have lost those two challenges. So I just want to say that strategically, I did help out in those games in the beginning. Um, I, Alex, I never put your name down. That tribe, I never put your name down. I put Evan's, <laughs> I actually put Evan's name down. Um, but it was originally, it was Alex, Carlo, and I. I never put your name down. I never put your name down, Evan. I always stay true to my alliances. Reagan and Kylie, I never got the chance to really talk to you guys at all. Um, Kylie, we were the first people to like, come here together, so I'm not trying to say, like, vote for me or whatever. I just wanna let you know. Um, I know some of you might not have liked the way I played this game. I know you guys may think, okay, Evan, he played a dirty game, he did better. I have always stayed true to my word. I helped you guys in the beginning of the strategy. I won the last challenge. I know I didn't put a lot of good moves out there, but Carl, uh, Carl, I'm not trying to shit talk anybody, but Carl was never in the mood for Kylie. Um, Start wrapping up. Okay. Carl was never moving the Ky for Kylie. 
Um, she voted for Alex, so she stayed with the majority. I have stayed true to my alliances this whole time. I may have lied to a couple of you, but I was down for the final three originally, and then Alex, I'm sorry, Evan, Carl, and I made it to the final. Whether you like that or not, I think it was fine. Hi guys. Well, the first thing I want to say, first of all, is I'm very grateful to have met each and every single one of you. And I know that like in like such a like, not a harmful, that's like too strong. In such a like intense and like tense filled environment like Survivor where you have to do dirty things. I mean, I did dirty things. I'll take full accountability for that. That I was able to have a lot of your trust and a lot of your kindness and all of your friendship. I just want to say that first off, that I'm really grateful for that and for this whole experience. It's been absolutely amazing. But I think that I am very worthy of being a soul survivor just because I feel about everything that I've put out into this competition since day one. I feel like I've really connected with all of you since day one. I've had all of your backs. Yes, I did have to look after myself like Avis. I was scared of you, man. I really was. And in that immunity challenge when I got the necklace, you were good to me. But you never stopped being my friend. I want to make that very clear. And of course, my biggest rival, I love too. There was just a lot of things that happened. And Alex, I didn't end up putting her name down, but I don't want to sit here and lie because I only put it because I was trying to bring myself up because I heard that he was going to vote for me. So I also want to make that clear, even though it's not in my favor, I just want to be honest with you. Because the one thing I just wanted to take from this experience was that I never went back on my morals. I was always honest with you guys, no matter what, that I respected each and every single one of you. And then I was able to prove myself on the last day here. I mean, I won two immunity challenges. Did not think I was going to do that at all. And yes, I did get some dirty moves, Kylie. I was scared of you too. You were a very, very powerful and influential player, as Avis was too. But yeah, but I'm actually just very, very grateful to be here. And I'm grateful for all of your guys' help during the game and just for your kindness and everything like that. So today I'm very thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for this experience. Hopefully what I put out into the game translates to the finale, but overall it's very great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, it's good to see you again. Coming into this game, I placed a lot of pressure on myself. I tried to keep this as under wraps as possible, but I am the world's biggest survivor. I know this game inside and out and have been training technically my whole life for this. I have played and hosted over a hundred seasons of online Survivor. I know this game inside and out and I felt very well equipped. Coming into this game, there was a lot of things I wanted to do. I wanted to focus on making deep social relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships with almost each of you so that you thought I had your best interest in heart. And though these relationships were very real on the outside, I truly hope to stay friends with all of you. I had no problem cutting them or calling myself for this game. I was willing to do whatever it takes to get to the end of this game and the end the right people who I think I have the best shot of meeting. I had a lot of close allies, Emily and Avis, Reagan, who I had to unfortunately blindside and leave in the dark and cut, who I didn't want to do that, but I knew it was the best move for my game to move forward. I played a very well-rounded game. I always had my finger on the pulse. I voted each and every one of you out of this game, and I hope you respect that. I always knew where the numbers were lying. I won an immunity. I played an idol. I made important social connections to me further, and I feel like I did everything I needed to do to earn your votes to be a soul survivor. I'm happy to answer any questions for anything that happened along the way, and I truly hope you respect my gameplay enough and can accept the fact that yes, despite the fact I voted each of you out, the social relationships you made out here were real, and I hope you guys can respect me as a player. You just ended your response with Nakano Strong, and that's been a very common theme through all three of you. Um, you've pretty much all voted the entirety of Tabuna off, um, and you've been Makano Strong throughout the entire game, at times refusing to work with the Tabuna that were still there. So I want to know how staying Makano Strong the entire time both made your game stronger and made it weaker. I'll go first. So for me personally, I never got the chance to talk to Reagan and meet like you yourself. 
Uh, I just, I felt standoffish with you guys. You guys never came up to me. I like said Reagan's ne like name a couple of times, talked to her and she kind of walked away. So personally, I just felt distance from you guys originally. You said I'll go tribe. I was pretty down for it. But then you started speaking again. You spoke Evan's name and I, I said from the beginning, yeah, I'm gonna go three for them. And you said his name and unfortunately uh, that's just not how I felt. Um, from the beginning, like, we've had this bond, and I never try to shut you out. If it seemed like that, I'm sorry. I generally wanted to get, like, where you guys were at. Like, you, I was the first person to meet you. And I, when we merged, I was looking forward to talk to you, but we never had that, like, encounter. And so I kind of was just like, okay, they're going to do their own thing. They're speaking my final three names, so I can't do that. So, what I'm strong to always I was loyal to Jasmine wrap it up. and everyone. But I just want to yeah. know what you thought made it weaker. Weaker? Being McConnell strong making it weaker. Quick answer. I think it made it weaker in the sense. I don't really think it did. I unfortunately I just think it was hard because I was just forced to vote you guys out and I really liked you guys, but unfortunately for me, I don't think it weakened my game at all. Thank you. Congrats final three, my day one. You guys did what the rest of us couldn't. My question is, when there was a time that you had to adapt or switch your game, how did you do it effectively, if there was a time at all? Um, Jasmine, you go first. Um, I, woo, damn, sorry. <laughs> okay, personally, the only time where I really flipped immediately is when Evan was like, I have the idol, we can just do Emily now, it'll be easy way out, because Emily was speaking about Caro's name. And so I was like, okay, fine, that's it. Like, I'm down, down, because I wanted us for the final three. Um, other than that, I'm trying to think of when I flipped. I really didn't flip a lot. I always spoke too true to my word. I never voted you out. The only people that, like, I would have voted out is because we just didn't talk enough. Um, I, stayed true, I stayed true to my word. Fortunately, I kind of had to detach my emotional connection. Like, it literally happened with you that I was like, I have to detach my emotional connection to these people because if not, they're going to boot me because I think I started to become a little bit of a more of a threat than I wanted to present myself as. And I think that is when I really just had to eliminate any type of emotions I had and just really do what needed to be done in that moment. Right. Well, I mean, I was <laughs> so I think I played a very adaptive game as a whole, but I think the biggest adaptation I made to my game was honestly your elimination. You, me, and Emily were a tight trio coming into this merge, and I felt very good about you. But then you started to get very close with these two girls over here. There was worries of you two, of you three guys becoming a trio, and that scared me. I saw you trying to put yourself in the middle position of your tribe, of the tribe, and that scared me because that's the position I wanted. I wanted to usurp your position within this trio, and I feel like I did so very effectively. So I feel like that was the biggest adaptation I made. Um, making sure you got out, turning these two girls against you, and making sure they were on my side of the league. Yes. Was the did you mean that on me? Or did you actually? I actually this. I didn't know. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, Suri, on making the final three. I have no hard feelings on any against anyone. I really only have one question for one person, but I'll talk to the other two like really, really briefly. Uh, Jasmine. I think you know how I feel about our game. I think I've made it pretty clear, um, but it's good respect. Uh, Evan, I appreciate you being pretty much the only Mikado player willing to actually make a move and play with me because, you know, I I wanted you out. You know, I wanted to work with the girls and I wanted to get you out a long time ago. And, you know, you were really the only one Mikado member that actually wanted to work with me and didn't, uh, you know, always wanted me out. Mikado. Or Mikado. I guess I didn't get your name right. 
Um, you know, I really just want to give you a chance, you know, to separate yourself because I'm just going outside of, you know, maybe jury management. What do you do, you know, that separates yourself from the I think what I did that separates myself from the other two, honestly, I think it was my ability to create special relationships with people. Like, I've been, like that was really genuine. But I think that like I did have obviously their loyalty like on my back and I'm just kind of like that person that if I say something and if I make someone feel a certain way that like they have my trust personally just as I can't break that. So I feel like but then like I was able to also talk to other people. I was able to be genuine and I was able to be honest and you always knew where my head was at. Even while we were going at it with each other, I always made sure that you my knew biggest, my biggest rival, my biggest rival <laughs> you know, and I feel like the way that I play games and the unexpectedness of my skills comes out and I think that makes me a very respectable player because I think I was able to fly under the radar a little bit but I was also able to prove myself that I could handle my own challenges and I can handle my own skills and I was also able to get myself here as much as I relied on these two as well. Thank you. Good luck guys. We're gonna do like one minute max for final speeches. This is your last chance. Uh, Final three to, to this group and tell the jury why you should win. Okay, again, I just want you guys to let me know that I had the most respect. I never blindsided one of you guys. And if, if the reason why I blindsided you is because I had the final three. I'm sorry if I ever went against that. Alex, it was originally us three, but when it's a hundred people telling me it's Alex, there's nothing I can do. Still never put your name down. Um, I hope you guys can respect the game I played. I know I didn't play dirty. And I know I, I, if I were to go back, I would have built more relationships. It was just such like a, it's, it's such a crazy thing to happen. My, na my name never got put down. I don't know if you guys just never saw me threat. I don't know if you guys don't like the whole under the radar and now making moves. Well, kind of, but I just want to let you know, I hope I have your respect. I never unwillingly voted for someone else other than my tribe. Um, I think the one thing I just want to put out there is that I really hope that you guys do see me like for Godel, like the Godel that I am and the player that I am and the things that I was able to put in the challenge and not just my loyalties. Because I did notice that I put a lot of emphasis on that, but I do want you guys to understand that as a person, that is just the people that I stick with. But I, I really hope that you guys see the way that I was able to prove myself and the moves that I did make, even if they were at your expense, obviously, which sucks. But I just really hope that everything that I said to you guys that was genuine, you guys were able to take it. And I just hope that in your minds, you understand that I am a very individual player. And I am just as worthy as these two who are also extremely worthy of the prize. And just, you know, the title. So I just hope you guys can see that. And when you're thinking, think of me, you know, and not everyone else that I was connected with. Just think about me. And I will respect that decision. As I've said before, I played this game every single second absolutely as hard as I could. I came in with the only goal of winning Survivor Florida through the disciplines. Every single second of this game, I made sure to do something that would propel me further. No matter how great you guys were and how much I loved you guys, I had no problem putting any of your names down and I hope you can respect that. I was out here for me and me only and I trust that a lot of you, if not all of you, were out for the exact same person and that was yourself. I feel as though I made the moves I needed to make to get myself in the end of the game. I made the right allies who I could trust and would bring me further, even appearing as the biggest threat, even everyone saying, gotta go for Evan, he needs to go next. I did everything I could to make myself in the best, best position in this game, and I honestly feel from the very beginning to the very end, I was more or less in control of this game, and I feel as though I deserve the title of Soul Survivor, and I hope you guys feel the same. But I will respect your decision either way, and I love meeting and playing each and every one of you. I will now read the votes for the winner of Survivor Florida Dueling Disciplines. Here's vote. Bara. Evan. Evan. It's two votes, Evan, one vote, Bara. Evan. Winner and Sosa Flavor of Survivor Florida. Thank you so much. Come on down and receive the Sosa Flavor of Survivor Florida.
receive your brand new winner buff. Congratulations, Evan. Thank you, guys. That's what I say. Speech, 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 speech. So speech. I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> I lie the whole time. Like, I hate each and every one. No, okay. Thank you guys. Like, this is honestly the best experience so far in college, maybe even in my life. Like, this was amazing. I love meeting each and every one of you, and I hope to do it again.